What is up guys, Manasha, and in today's video I just wanted to explain how Quake can actually solo this Mephisto boss in Act 6 Chapter 3.5. Now first I want to say that I did not get a solo on this fight, um, he just wasn't cooperating the way I would have liked him to, but it can be done, especially if you have better RNG than I had. So what makes this fight annoying with Quake is the toxic behavior node, because whenever Mephisto has 3 chemical gas for more than 8 seconds, he will apply a strong poison debuff, and usually you can survive one, but two will definitely kill you. And him being immune to ability accuracy reduction means that Quake cannot bypass it with concussion. But you can still get around it, and the key to doing that is to actually bait specials. So what you want to do is first use Quake like Quake, and then you actually want to use it like a normal champ, where you're actually throwing in combos and baiting and evading specials. Because that will pretty much make sure that you don't get the poison on you, because it refreshes, or rather it resets his chemical gases. So that's all you really need to do is just go from quaking to normal playing style. So here I first started to bait a special 1 when the stun expires and then I started to bait a special 2 on the next one. And like I said, if you have better RNG you can solo this fight because for me what made it annoying is that Mysterio has got some really weird AI. You know, Sometimes he just all of a sudden gets a heavy attack bias and he starts throwing heavy attacks all over the place. And then it just makes it a little bit more difficult to bait specials. So right now we're 20 hits in, he's at 76% and it's actually going pretty well. Still have 100% health. Okay, so aftershock, stun your combos and you can actually miss with the falter whilst he's stunned doesn't really matter because if he's stunned he cannot retaliate and this is where the problem starts here yeah. like I'm trying to bait a special attack and he's just not giving in I mean come on dude just after I get the poison he throws it so that's a bit annoying and that's not the first time it's gonna happen but yeah so I carry on quaking okay aftershock get the stun Drop one or two combos, 90 beta special attack. And now he is just not cooperating. <sighs> Come on, Mysterio, why you gotta be so greedy with your special attacks, man? And yeah, Heimdall synergy does not have enough duration to save me there, and unfortunately, I cannot solo this one with Quake. So I decided I'm actually gonna use Corvus, because I've been playing around with Corvus quite a bit lately now that I'm running suicides during the off season. So yeah, I've never really got to use Corvus in 6.3, uh, that's mainly because I don't usually run suicides. Then I must say he is so much better that he's actually a lot more viable, because when I first tried Corvus in 6.3, I felt like it was a bit of a waste of time without boosts or suicides, because he usually just doesn't have the reach to finish these fights within one set of glaive charges. So here yeah, I just wanted to try him out, and I actually did solo the whole path with him, although it was the easy path. But yeah, now I want to see how he does against this Mysterio boss, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do the usual medium light medium with Corvus. And I want to make sure that I don't hit him whilst he has that reflection, you know, after throwing a special one. And there I actually did not mean to hit him, I was hoping I would hit his block, but he ended up releasing it, so I pushed into a special two. And I actually debate that special two. And there he finally throws it, go in. Miss with the falter. And I need to evade two more special ones before I can get to my special two now. Because the special two of his does apply the power drain debuff. So now I'm cornered. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bait his heavy attack by holding block. And fortunately, Mysterio has a heavy attack bias, so he's just so happy to throw them. And yeah, this is mainly just to avoid parrying because the block damage is a little bit ridiculous. So there I actually wanted to hit him, but then I realized that if I do hit him one more time, I'll probably push him to a special 2, so I decided to miss instead. Now I need him to throw one more special 1, and finally he does. Now I can drop my special 2, and they just did not have enough to kill him, so I need him to throw another special 1. And unfortunately, I managed to take him down before he reflects the damage. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.